Welcome to Patient Education on Urethral Strictures, Effective Solutions for Men. Brought to you by Dr. Ryan Terlecki of Wake Forest Men's Health. Helping men live better every day. As a surgeon specifically trained in reconstructive urology, I see many men for a condition known as urethral stricture. Today, I'll explain this condition for you. But first, let's review the anatomy of the male urinary tract. We begin with the kidneys that filter our blood. This produces urine that travels down tubes known as ureters down to the bladder where it is stored until empty. Now, let's take a look from a different angle. Located within the pelvis, the bladder is surrounded by a muscle that pushes the urine outside of the body. Let's rotate some more to identify another important structure. Just below the bladder sits the prostate, a spongy gland that we will discuss in a different lecture. Coming back to the side, we can now take an even closer look at today's primary area of interest. The tubular passage for urine to leave the body is known as the urethra. It travels through the center of the prostate and eventually out to the tip of the penis. If a part of the inside of this tube were to narrow from scar tissue, it could interfere with the flow. This constriction is known as a urethral stricture. In the normal setting, the flow of urine should be strong with no need to strain in order to empty the bladder. But patients with urethral strictures may notice something that seems more like this. Due to higher fluid pressure behind the stricture, over time, if this condition is left untreated, it may involve even more of the urethra and possibly weaken the bladder. In some cases, the stricture can get worse and suddenly block the urethra completely. This situation is known as urinary retention, and this represents a true emergency. So, what do you do if you have a plumbing problem? You call a plumber. Wait a second, not this guy. This guy. Now let's discuss your options. We recognize that every man's situation is unique and solutions are individualized. Before coming to us, many men have undergone procedures for temporary relief. However, most will desire the best chance for a permanent solution. Let's discuss the difference. Temporizing procedures don't fix the problem, but can buy some time. These involve stretching, also called dilation, or cutting scar tissue from the inside. Neither approach removes the scar, but simply widens the passage until it collapses again. The probability of long-term success is near zero. Long-term solutions are possible for many patients and involve a procedure known as a urethroplasty. If the stricture is short, we may be able to remove the scar and connect the healthy ends. If it is long, we may have to use a patch of tissue easily taken from inside the mouth. And unlike the high chance of failure with dilation and incision procedures, the chance of long-term success after urethroplasty is greater than 90%. And most urethroplasties are done in just a single outpatient procedure. So, if a urethral stricture has you hustling to the restroom and making matters uncomfortable, or if you want to go from something like this to something more like this, and if you're looking for more than just a temporary fix, remember, don't call this guy. Come see us. To arrange an office or video consultation, give us a call. And to learn more, check out our website. Thanks for watching. At Wake Forest Men's Health, we're helping men live better every day.